Just a quick intro this time. Sorry this video took so long to get out. I got very sick and I'm also moving in a couple days. So it's just been really hard. <laughs> Regardless, a lot of fun stuff happens. So I hope you enjoy. You like dragons, right? I'm pretty sure you do. Takes up a bit of the screen though. This is the easiest boss. A goldfish beat this boss. You can't even get him into his second stage? Are you kidding me? You've been here for like, oh my God. Oh, that's better. Oh, he's tanky. <gasps> he's very tanky. It's stunned easy though. Ooh, yes. Oh, oh, get him before, get him before. Oh! Oh, come on, come on, come on. He's almost done, he's almost done. My kill. <laughs> Me, I win. You helped. Okay, all right, all right. You earned a higher spot on our team. Dragon keeps getting killed really easily. <laughs> like, really easily. Three weeks later. Let me uh, just take a moment to tell you how my week has gone. So I woke up on Monday feeling pretty tired. Didn't really feel like recording anything. It happens sometimes, usually when I don't get sleep. I thought, all right, I'll just record on Tuesday. So I wake up on Tuesday, 10 times more tired than I was the day before. And I just feel crappy and I'm like, oh no. Yeah, it took until Saturday for me to realize that I might be extremely sick. It's now next Monday and I still feel just as bad. And I don't even know if this is just gonna be an update video for the channel or if this is gonna be part of the episode. Uh, there's not really anything I want in Rey Lucaria so my goal is to maybe get like a star beast and then go fight Radon. I don't even know if I included this castle because Godric is really boring and honestly the most challenging part about fighting him is not falling asleep while you're fighting him. No! No! Oh, is this going to be one of the ones that just falls through the floor? Fuck. What if I, what if I um, teleport it by running? It worked with um, the grafted scion when that was broken. Oh, and no, fucking stop. stop. I, do, I, ugh, I never have a plan for this. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit. Oh God, this is such an awful way to heal. What if I stood on top of something that it could fall under, right? Like ruins or something. Or a bridge, <gasps> a bridge, a bridge. I can summon it on top of a bridge. That's what I'll do. You like uh, my Christian Bale accent? It's Christian Bale. What's funny is that um, Christian Bale and Michael Caine have like the same accent, but Christian Bale's sounds fake, even though he's really British. You might not know, but it sounds fake. He sounds like he has a fake accent, which I think is because he played so many fake Americans. And this is karma for stealing our jobs. You know, they say editing is the trick to editing is um, not cutting unless necessary only cut cutting when necessary that's the trick that's the secret something i have yet to learn maybe one day maybe this is it maybe this is uh i really should have stopped playing like 30 minutes ago free sentinel go Pokemon, take note. This is what your game should be like from now on. 
This is what I want Pokemon battles to look like. Oh, uh, no, no, no! And the trainer should be in mortal danger every time they battle a Pokemon. He's doing pretty good. Doing a pretty good job. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Hey, can I do an execute of any kind? Not with a whip. No. No, of course not. No. Of course not, you idiot. Of course. Oh, it's down to the wire. Who's going to win? Whoever attacks first, probably. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, a double knockout. What? <laughs> what? Okay, so we got the Falling Star Beast. That makes sense. But we got the Draconic Tree Sentinel too? What? Uh, are you, are you sure about that? <laughs> I'm not complaining, but... Oh, fuck! Awesome! That's the best one we could, could get. Oh, no! Oh my god. I mean, yeah, we know you're gonna be good. I don't even need to test you. We gotta test the falling star beast, if anything. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'll come back and fight you two in a second. Actually, here. You guys fight this. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, cool. Well. Well. All right, then. In case you were wondering who would survive, me or two tree sentinels, got your answer. Might have surprised you. The answer might shock you. Does he know? I could go to Mogwin Palace early. I need to fight. No, wait. I fought a thing, a guy. I fought a shard bearer. I go talk to the fingers. I can do it. I can go to Mogwin Palace early. That'd be kind of hilarious, actually. And then just go into the DLC. That's what everyone wants to see. I know what you want to see. You want to see me go into the DLC, get a bunch of DLC monsters, don't you? I know what you want. I know what you fucking want. The following day. Look at you. You're such a tall boy. Oh, boy. Come on. Okay, let's see how you deal with these hands. Oh, my God. Please come over here. Please come over here. Please come over here. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, could use a little bit more aggression, I think. That always seems to be the problem. Poke Souls and in this, is that they are nowhere near as aggressive as when they're fighting you. How does that work? Oh my god. No, no, no. Don't focus on me. Focus on him. Focus on him! Focus on the godskin! Stun him. Stun you. Oh, so close. Let's see how you like a falling star beast. Oh, gets immediately wrecked. <laughs> it just keeps getting staggered. This is going to be a very... Oh, my God. They just threw them across the ring. Oh, we got the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> oh, my God. You are definitely one of my favorites now. Oh, yeah. Finish. Finish them. No, what? You missed. Oh, no, 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 you didn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I misread that. You clipped them with your little, little uh, pincer claw. I love that. I love that about you. Oh, did you hear that? Did you know that? Did you know they make that noise? I didn't know that. Because <laughs> I've never really hung around them while they're idle. 
Dude, they add so many details that no players will ever see. <laughs> Later that same evening. Is it like the same Falling Star Beast that I have? Are they all the same? Or is it stronger? Let's find out. Oh, summon, 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 summon! Okay, so just to be clear, the one I'm locking onto is not mine. Full grown falling star beast. So will that be its own summon? They're just doing the same attacks. They are pretty neck and neck when it comes to whittling down each other's health. Man, you are doing so good even though you have no health left. I'm so proud of you. Even though you're definitely not winning this fight. Damn, dude. You are holding in there, and I think it's over. Yeah, it's over. But look how do uh, look how well they did. Oh no no no! Uh, <laughs> stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Okay. God, this is just the worst way to heal. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, you got this. You got this. Oh, I want that. I want that. Give me one of those. I need this. I need this to be its own thing. Okay. Great. Give me a full-grown one. Nice. Okay, it was its own summon. Oh my god. Oh god. Fuck. I was like, what's that noise? What's following me? <laughs> I forget that they can follow me inside. What would be a really interesting enemy to get? Is there anything here that I really, really would want? I'm trying to think of like an enemy that's like absolute bullshit in the normal game. It's, it's weird to like reframe my thinking into, okay, which enemies do I want to capture? It's like I... I just have to run down every enemy in the game in my head. I wonder if the one that's in Radon's tower is better than the one I got from the Windmill Village, right? Is that a different one? I gotta check. I gotta check. What will you do if you fight your own brother? That's pretty good. Damn, dude. You might actually win this. Oh, this is gonna be close. Come on, fight back! Why are you just staring at him? Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Oh, that doesn't do a lot. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Holy shit. Oh, he's actually gonna do it. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> come on, come on, fight back! Fight back! Oh, no! Oh, that was very close, though. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, giant crab, giant crab! Uh, no, crap. Oh, he immediately steamrolled the giant crab. Hold on a second. We need an ace in the hole. Elder Lion, go. Come on, just use your ice breath. Just use your fucking ice breath. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Uh, he's so tanky. He's going to win no matter what. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're fine. We're all fine here. And we got a Godskin Noble. Cool. Sick. Ah, sweet. Sweet. We got a Godskin Noble. That's what this character sounds like. That's their voice. The question now becomes, who do we use on right card? So my plan here right now for this episode, because there isn't really any like legacy dungeon I have to go through to fight Radon, I'm going to get right card to fight Radon. So I think the death right bird is going to excel in this environment. I think right card can't avoid their death flame enough please do not kill it instantly let's go 
Go. Death right bird. Get him. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, that is a lot of frostbite. Thank you. But can they re-inflict it? Okay, unfortunately, I can't do anything about this except give you a little whip. Give you a little whippy. Just whip you. Okay, good. Now I've done my share. This is actually going really well. As long as he doesn't fall through the map, he's going to be great for fighting Radon. Oh, am I going to get his first stage or his second stage? We want Lord of Blasphemy. We don't want the Serpent. What's going on, guys? Come on. You're almost done. You could you could be doing a little bit better. Just a little bit. Stop getting staggered. He's not that hard. This isn't hard. Just get him. Okay, there we go. There we go. Free summon. Let's go. Attack a little bit more aggressively, please. Just a bit more. You can do it. I believe in you. God damn it. I don't know what they're doing. Their AI's being a little bit weird right now, and they're not attacking. They're just going to get their head chopped off, their little skull face, their bird skull face. Okay, good, good. Okay, now do that. 20 more times. Yes? Yes? Oh, you're gonna die. Okay. Elder Lion time. Whoop. 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 <laughs> Why aren't you doing anything? Just use your Ghost Flame Blast. Okay. All right. Death Ride Bird is down. Elder Lion, go! Do, do your Frostbite. Just, just... Just do your frostbite. Just do your frost breath. It erases bosses. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. Thank you. We want to encourage the behavior that we want to see. Reward the behavior that you want to see. Good boy. Oh, yes. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes. Yes, queen, get it. God devouring serpent and Lord of Blasphemy. Well, that answers my question. I guess we get both and a rotten stray? The fuck? <laughs> the summon cost? The HP summon cost is a thousand. <laughs> I did find out something unfortunate about the, um bigger falling star beast he earns his name by falling through the ground so message the mod maker about that all right we're at eddie redmayne castile gonna go fight radon gonna get radon we're gonna have radon i really hope that rykard isn't uh one of the enemies that will fall through the floor No. Oh, oh, stop, please, stop, please, stop, please, stop, please stop. All right, summon. No, you bitch! You son of a bitch! Oh, you gotta be. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. No, no, no. No, no, no. We can do this. Wait, we can do this. Summon. No, stop it, you son of a gun. Come on, buddy. Help me out here. Get out of your little weird spot that you're in. Can you get out of there? Can you just... Can you just get the heck out of there? Oh, cool. Okay. 